What's up guys, this is the only Ninja Warrior Aviators and a Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we're going to be doing a fight like video. It's been a while since I've done a fight like video. It's been a while since I've done really any video. Like I'm just getting back into posting. Sorry about that. I did a video talking about that so if you want to know more about why I have been gone, um, yeah, I, I did a video about that. It's mostly because my computer got busted. But Today is not what we're talking that's not what we're talking about. Today we are going to be talking about how to fight like one woman in the DC extended universe, the DCEU. Because here's the thing, I was thinking about like doing all the different versions of of Wonder Woman, but like there's so many different versions with so many drastically different fighting styles like the animated one from the cartoon has a totally different fighting style than the one from the movies and so on and so instead of instead of doing one you know very generalized one I'm gonna break apart mostly the Wonder Woman movie uh, because you know I'm also excited for Wonder Woman 84 I think it's 64 84 one of, one of the two the new Wonder Woman movie coming out I'm excited about it hopefully you guys are and so that's why I want to do a Wonder Woman video for you guys but before we get into it you know what we have to do run that intro Wonder Woman is one of the best fighters in the DC Universe, period. Like, she is one of the top-notch fighters in the DC Universe, period. And that goes for the- that stays the same when you take into consideration the DCEU. She is by far the one of the most skilled uh, members in the DCU, and she's definitely the most seasoned. She's fought in different wars. She's definitely, by far, the most seasoned. Because of this, she has a very balanced fighting style. For her defensive techniques, she mixes blocks and uses her extreme reflexes to evade for a very strong and solid defense. If she can't block, she's fast enough to block bullets head on and also fast enough to get out of the way of attacks and move so that she's set up uh, for a better attack in the future. She also has a shield that she not only uses for defense because, you know, her defense is already top notch, but she uses it also offensively, bashing people and launching people, giving her the ability to, do, to use a more large variety of techniques with the weapons she is given and the weapons she chooses to use. Her sword typically uses one-handed techniques, again, because she's using her shield in one hand and her sword in the other. So the, her sword strikes are generally faster and don't require as much power, but will rely on speed over power in many instances, although she is capable of using two hands on her sword for power. This Wonder Woman in particular rarely uses kicks. She is often seen using her swords, her shield, her her arms in combat and rarely uses actually uses kicks in her fighting style. However, when she does use them, she uses them to push back opponents and gain breathing room. Uses them the way they're designed to get distance from your opponent to give yourself a second to re-gauge and re-engage re with the person you're fighting. Now, I have to address it. Her magic lasso is awesome. Like, it's super cool. I love the magic lasso, but I gotta be real. Um, it's totally not how it works in real life. So we're just gonna skip how she uses it because like, she uses it in a way that shouldn't be possible. It is 100% a magic lasso. It doesn't, lassos don't work like that. So I'm gonna skip it, but like, if you wanna learn how to do lasso stuff, then uh, let me know and I guess I'll I'll try to figure that out for you. I, I have no idea how to use lasso stuff, so uh, that'll be a new one for both of us. But her magical powers do enhance her fighting style. She is both incredibly fast and incredibly strong. This allows her punches to do much more damage than any of our punches would do. And this allows her to block things that we would not even be able to. She can block bullets from a machine gun after they've been fired. That's how fast she is. And this speed goes into making her be able to evade all other all other enemy attacks or block bullets coming straight at her head. Um, this speed allows her to put extra power into her uh, punches as well as put power from her super strength into her punches, making her punches, you know, be able to stagger the Man of Steel himself. 
because of her decades and possibly centuries of training, she's able to use pressure points and other body weak points on a target that she's fighting that is stronger than her, like Doomsday. Going for points like behind the ankle and behind the knee to bring down Doomsday is cl a clear example of using a strategy and strategically taking out a stronger opponent. And when she needs to, she's able to turn on the lethality. When facing multiple powerful opponents like the Parademons that she doesn't have to worry about killing, she just goes out and she knows several different moves that can either decapitate or just straight up kill beings instantly if she has to. Obviously, she doesn't do that for humans because she's not trying to kill all of us, but <laughs> for, be for beings that are powerful and beings that stand a real threat like parademons in particular she will use those um special bot those special pressure points and kill techniques on that will just end the fight that much quicker now let's get into the part of this video that i know a lot of you guys are just waiting for where i take parts of martial arts that you can use to train like her in real life that you can practice in your backyard so let's get to it all right, so for our first combo, we're going to be doing a open hand combo, meaning no sword, no shield. You don't need any of that. This is just for, you know, imagining that, imagine that we have bracers and this is how this combo is going to go. So it's going to be of two blocks and three attacks just to set up uh, for some, if two people were attacking you. So what we're going to do is we're going to step to the right as we block with our left hand. You never want to just block standing up straight. You always want to move out of the way. So if you block something, moving out of the way as well so just imagine some coming in at this angle right here stepping forward and out out of the way and using that left hand to block using our right hand you're going to or using our right hand we're going to elbow so we're going to grab the head with our left and elbow just like that so the first two moves are going to be one two then from the other side you're going to block again you're going to sweep the leg with your left hand sweeping that knee possibly breaking the side of the knee just like that so coming at the knee and then you're going to with your leg swing up nice and high and straight down onto your opponent just like that so all together it's going to look something like this going nice and slow one two three sweep and down all together it'll look something like this Now we're going to be using our sword for the next combination, but obviously I don't have her katana, so I'm going to her sword, so I'm going to be using my katana right here. I'm actually doing custom katana, so if you are interested in doing a custom, a custom katana, send me a message on Instagram at modern underscore ninja 232. So for what we're going to, how we're going to start off is we're going to start off with our sword coming up for a block to the side, just like this. And then you're going to come through and slash at your opponent. So block, slash. So next, once you get your block and slash, you're going to see your next co opponent coming through. You're going to swing through all the way to slice at them and blocking the other side with your left hand. So all together so far, it should look something like this. One, two, three, four. Now from here, you're going to clear and finish just like that so again one more time it should look something like this all the way through nice and slow one two three four clear five. now if you've never used a sword before please don't start off using one now use a short stick or, or a wooden boken to start off. And if you have used a sword before and you wanna move into using swords like this one, then information will be down for this sword down in the comments. So if that's interested in, in that, if that interests you, uh, you can find the links down there. Or if you want a custom one made by yours truly, then just message me on Instagram. That's, it's up to you guys. I'm just, you know, giving you some, some information. So there you go. Okay, I am back. I'm, honestly, I just haven't recorded the part yet, but uh, I hope that it went well. <laughs> but 
Um, don't forget to like and comment on the video. If you have a character you want me to do in the future that I haven't done already, definitely let me know in the comments below because that's how I'll choose the next fight like video. So if you guys suggest, I don't know, Morbius or or Blade or I think I've already done Blade, but whoever whoever you suggest, that's who I'll put at the top of the list. So um, definitely let me know who you want to see down in the comments and don't forget to do all the other YouTube stuff like like and share and follow if you haven't. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.